Okay guys, so for the project you're going to need a canvas, the one that I got, it's a 30 by 40 from Joann, no, I got it from Hobby Lobby and it was 50% off, so a really good deal, and you're also going to need a mirror, I'm using an old mirror that was broken already, and I'm taking a hammer to break up the mirror into smaller pieces in order to create my mosaic artwork. And um, you also want to use like a towel or an old blanket to cover the mirror because you don't want to be just breaking mirror with nothing over it. And yeah, this project was pretty simple, really easy and fun to do. It's a lot of um, <laughs> glass you're dealing with so you definitely want to be careful. And whatever mirror you use, you want to make sure that it doesn't have tape on the back of the mirror. So now I'm just placing down my pieces in any pattern that you like. It's all up to you. It is your artwork, so you use your best judgment here. And I was just placing them down however I felt. And yeah. I really didn't do a pattern, I was just filling in pieces wherever I wanted them to go, so it's really a place for you to be creative in this aspect, so however you feel like you want your mirrors to be um, placed on the canvas or whatever direction, it's all up to you. So I'm still just placing down my pieces until I get the look that I want. pieces laid out to my liking I am going to take some E6000 glue and also the hot glue gun and start gluing down my pieces now I would recommend the E6000 glue because to me it worked better doing this project because the hot glue it was just like you had to be really fast and it just wasn't sticking for me so I stuck to the E6000 glue but again it's whatever you prefer and now I'm just gluing down the pieces now this process took a while just because you had to glue down each individual piece but it was worth it in the end I don't know how long it took me exactly, I really wasn't counting, but I'm pretty sure it took me some hours to complete this entire project. I actually did it over a course of two days. So once you have all the pieces glued down, you can either stop and be done with your project, or you can go on to this step. I decided to add some texture to my canvas by taking my hot glue gun and smearing glue all over the top portion of it and it gave it like this textured look it's kind of hard to explain but you have to watch and see and i actually enjoyed both looks with the texture and without so it's pretty much up to you and what you feel like doing so yeah so here you see me taking the Mod Podge and the glitter and just spreading it all over the canvas. Once I finish with this portion of the project, I'm pretty much done. So if you did continue on and decided to add the texture to your canvas, then this is pretty much your last step. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up if you have any DIY requests or videos that you guys would like to see. Make sure you comment down below and let me know. Thank you guys again for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.